just in. I was so bored this morning that I watched a hair colorist on Kelly and Ryan demonstrate how to dye your roots. It's so weird because I don't even have hair. This, is, this, this isn't even real. <laughs> look, look at it. Who would have hair this fabulous? It's a freaking wig, you guys. I'm so bored I'm going to start uh, dyeing the roots on my wig. During his rally, I mean press conference, I mean way to start a fight with Cuomo, Trump wonders why a hospital during a virus pandemic needs so many masks. Um, is it uh, contagion? I just, just a guess, I'm not a scientist. Is it contagion plus Math? I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a mathematician, but that's just I don't know. <laughs> this is an idea I had. Maybe it's uh he also said that the meeting to talk about this took place in a very nice room. And that room was called the cabinet room. Everybody be nice to him. Don't threaten the president. He also said he wanted to get back to the good old days when restaurants uh were doing well because corporate worker corporate workers could write off their lunches yeah good for servers good for bu bus boys that the that corporate tax write-off really serves the working people doesn't it i remember working for 335 an hour at the olive garden and having uh my 10 percent tips taxed because people wouldn't tip that much and then the white collar guys would ogle me and I would just smile back and the only meal that I had was a stolen tiramisu from inside the walk-in closet that I would either reward myself after the shift or do it at the beginning just scarfed it real fast so no one would notice that I was stealing it and uh, you know either doing it at the beginning to keep me going for the shift or at the end oh those were the good old days you know when I was going to art school and I painted my uh, shirt with gesso that you would use on a canvas to prime it because my uh, white sleeves were getting all dingy and they wouldn't stand at that at the Olive Garden. Couldn't afford a shirt, so just painted the sleeves. I mean, it made them a little stiff, but oh, those were the days, unlimited breadsticks. Those were the days. And then the manager was uh, shot and killed at the back door because he thought there was a delivery, but it was just so someone coming to rob the Olive Garden. Let's get back to those days. If the workers from private corporations eat lunch at hospitals, can they write that off? Are gloves considered Republican or uh, a Democrat? What if one glove is one and... Trump is having Clear Blue Pregnancy Test Company take over the rollout of COVID-19 rapid, rapid testing. Is it one line or two lines for positive COVID-19? Hey, if you're pregnant, you got it. No. If you're a man, pee on it. Also, you're pregnant. Two lines COVID, one line pregnant. Zero line, you can't have kids. This just in, according to uh, the New York Health Department, sex with yourself is the only safe sex now. I'm Mary Lynn Rice Cub, international superstar. I'm bringing you the news that's coming across my desk. This just in, SeaWorld, I can't. I can't say ours during quarantine. Bye, ours. Sea World furloughs over 90% of its workers. Uh, question, are the killer whales and turtles still receiving paychecks? Asking for a friend. A whale friend. I'm asking for uh, a friend of mine who's a whale. This just in, since quarantine, the dog is allowed on the couch and he's also my boyfriend now, but I do make him wear paw gloves. In London, they had time to uh, repaint the lines on the iconic Abbey Road, you know, from the um, Beatles cover album art. They uh, had time to repaint the lines, you know, before the pandemic peaks. Is that like cleaning before the housekeeper comes? This just in, wildfires are feeling left out in 2020. People forgot about us, they say. We can spread too. True that. British Airways is still operating a number of rescue flights to bring stranded Brits home. Virgin Atlantic has asked for a bailout. We see you, Virgin Atlantic. Go ahead. Go home and uh, hole up with your closet full of toilet paper.
we see you. Industries on the rise, the blame game. I'm Marilyn Rice Cub. This has been the news that's come through my desk today. Thanks for being here.